Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Pinstack Smashing. I'm your host and favorite YouTube lockpicker, Master Yale Quickset. Now in this video we're going to be analyzing and decoding a Master Lock Model 647D. The packaging for this lock touts that the lock is in fact tough under fire, but I have yet to take the lock to the range to test it. It states that you can set and reset your own combination. Master Lock has rated this lock a number three on the master hard scale. <laughs> if we turn the packaging around, we can see that there's no additional information about the lock itself, except that the body is 30 millimeters wide. Not sure why that is important. <laughs> All of the text hidden behind this gigantic anti-theft mechanism simply tells us how to set and reset the combination of the lock. Now, I currently don't know the combination of this lock, so I'm going to be decoding it with you live here in the video. So during my preliminary online research, I can only find one other method for decoding this lock, which requires a brute force method of putting pressure on the shackle and the body away from each other and turning the wheels in a certain specific order, which didn't really work for me every single time. I truly just wanted a more effective and elegant solution to decoding this lock, and I have found one, and I'm sharing it with you today. So taking a look at the lock body itself, I don't see any features that really stick out to me. There is a giant seam that goes across the entire edge of the lock, which makes me question whether or not the lock truly is tough under fire. One side has a set of rivets, the other side does not. And the main focal point, obviously, are the three wheels. On the edge of the lock, there's an arrow pointing to three windows. This is where you actually set the combination. Four, four, nine, three, three, eight. Now let's talk about the term combination lock here just for a second. If each wheel has the possible outcome of being zero through nine, that means that each wheel has 10 different possible places inside the window here. Because we have three wheels, this would actually yield something called a permutation, and the permutation is calculated by 10 to the third power. 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 different combinations that this lock can actually be set to. I am unsure why they don't just call these permutation locks for that reason. It's not actually a combination. But I believe the key here is that order does in fact matter, obviously, to unlock the lock when you're setting the three wheels. Also, 1,000 different possibilities really make sense, because you could set the lock to 000 as the lowest number, and 999 as the highest number, and that is essentially 0 through 999, so 1,000 different combinations, obviously. Okay, now that the analysis is complete, what do you say we dive right in and see if we can't decode this lock? To decode this lock, I'm going to be using a single tool, and this is a shim from Sparrows. Now what I'm essentially going to be doing is picking each wheel. I'm going to feel the wheel set, and I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm actually going to start with the, the third wheel up here. Again, this little arrow down here on the side points to the first number, the second number is in the middle, and the third number is near the bottom of half of the lock. I'm going to be sticking the shim in between the wheel and the lock body at the top of each wheel and resting the back of the shim against the back of the little window to which the wheel protrudes. I'm going to make sure that the shim is in fact absolutely perpendicular to the lock like so. And I'm going to gently and carefully turn each wheel while putting pressure down on the shim until I feel the shim click downwards into place. So let's turn this wheel here. There's the, the first one. Okay, we've clicked downwards, and the number in the window here is 8. I'm going to be doing the exact same method for the second wheel, and I'm going to ensure that the shim is going in above the wheel rather than below it for every single attempt here. And I'm going to gently turn this until it clicks downwards. Oh, there we go. We've got to click on 4 and 1 on 0. I'm going to use the 104. The click on 4 was very prominent. So let's go down to the first wheel here. Oh, got to click on 0. Very good click on 0. I'm going to go back to the first one to ensure that 8 is in fact the number. Okay, 
Yes, very good click on eight. So now the number on the side here, these three windows is zero, four, eight. Now that's not the combination. Essentially what we did was we lined all of the wheels up how they should be lined up. And what we have to do is turn each wheel until we find the combination. Because the wheels are lined up, we have to turn each one before attempting to pull up the shackle. There we go. So we have successfully decoded the Masterlock 647D. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Pinstack Smashing. I'm your host and favorite YouTube lock picker, Master Yale Quickset. I hope that you have a good evening, friends. Good night.